in this video we will see the solution of the problem number 7.10 from the chapter number 7 the problem is given the 8-bit data word this is the 8-bit data word we are given here and we have to generate the 13-bit composite word for the hemming code that corrects single errors and detect double errors so we have to generate the 13-bit composite word for this 8-bit data word using hemming code that will correct single errors and detect double errors okay so here we have to do up to the generation of the 13 bit word so in our previous video we have seen the hemming code for error detection and correction okay that has a data bit this one we had k number of parity bits that will follow the relation 2 to the power k minus 1 greater than is equal to n plus k here n is the number of data bits and k is the number of parity bits okay using this formula we will determine the values of k so i will give the link of this video in the description section so before watching the solution you have to be clear about the hemming code how it is generated how the parity bits are used for the detection of errors and using the check pitch how the error was detected and corrected in this video we have to use the same hemming code the given data word is 01011011 here we have eight number of bits so here we'll have n is equal to eight so what will be the values of k that is how many parity bits we have to consider here that will be decided by using the formula 2 to the power k minus 1 should be greater than n plus k so for 1 what will happen so 2 to the power 1 it will be 2 2 minus 1 that is 1 1 is not greater than 8 plus 1 that is 9 1 is not greater than 9 so k value we cannot take as 1 so similarly for 2 and 3 also now if we have k equal to 4 what will have 2 to the power 4 is 16 16 minus 1 is 15 so in the left hand side we have 15 and in the right hand side what will have 8 8 plus 4 so what will have 12 so 15 is greater than 12 so we can use 4 number of parity bits so for k equal to 4 2 to the power k minus 1 greater than n plus k on this one is satisfied so the lowest value of k is 4 so for this given data word of 8 bits we have to consider 4 number of parity bits let us write down the bit position and the respective position of the parity bits okay so here we'll write bit position 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 we have k equal to 4 that means we'll have four parity bits in which position we have to position this parity bits so in the previous video we have already seen that we have to keep this parity bits at the powers of two positions okay so here we'll have 2 to the power 0 means 1 so in the position number 1 so in bit position 1 we'll put the parity bit 1 so 2 to the power 1 is 2 so in position 2 also we'll keep the parity bit 2 then we have 2 square 2 square means 4 so in fourth position we will keep the parity bit p4 and 2 cube 2 cube is 8 so here we will keep the parity bit p8 okay now we have to put here in this spaces we have to fill up the data bits so here we have 8 data bits okay so they are 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 so 0 1 0 1 one zero one one so as per the question we have to generate a 13 bit composite word this 13 bit composite word will correct single error and it will detect double errors so what will happen in this 13 bit we have to put another parity bit that will be p13 okay so this one is nothing but this is d3 this is nothing but d5 that means data bit okay then we have d6 d7 then we have p8 then we have d9 d10 d11 
D12 and we have P13. Okay, so in this way we have to now replace. Now we have to find out the values of P1, P2, P4, P8 and P13. So for finding out P1, P2, P4 and P8, you have to watch the previous video. Please go through the previous video of Hemming code for error detection and correction. The parity bit P1, we have to do the XOR operation of the bits so for finding out this parity bits we have to consider only the data bits from the data bit we have to find out this parity bits p1 p2 p4 p8 so up to p8 we have to follow the hemming code for generation of parity bit and for p13 what we'll do we have to find out the parity of this all this 12 bit number then after checking these numbers, if there are odd number of ones, this P13 will be 1. And if there are even number of ones in these 12 bits, then we'll make this P13 bit or the parity 13 bit 0. So P1 we have to calculate doing the XOR operation of the bits. So what will be the bit? So for P1, we have to see the higher order data bits. Okay, so here we have P2. So we cannot take this one because it's a parity bit. Next, we have D3. So you have to write here D3, comma next we have to skip one here we have one we have already seen in our previous video that in if there is one we have to take one bit and they, then we have to skip another bit then we will take again another bit and then again we'll skip okay so we have to skip this p4 that is parity bit p4 value next we have to consider this d5 then we have to skip this data bit d6 okay next we have to consider this d7 comma next we'll have this p8 so we have to skip this one so next we'll have d9 again we have to skip this d10 so we'll have d11 next we have to again skip this d12 okay so up to here we have to see we have to do the exit operation between these data bits so exit operation between these data bits so what we'll have d3 is 0 okay d3 we can see here d3 is 0 so 0 xor d5 d5 is 1 d7 is 1 1 xor 1 xor and then you have d9 and d11 d, d9 is 1 and d11 is also 1 okay 1 xor 1 so p1 is equal to so here we have 1 2 3 4 number of ones p1 will be 0 okay because you can see here 0 xor 1 is 1 1 xor 1 is 0 Okay, 0 XOR 1 is 1 and 1 XOR 1 is 0. Okay, so P1 value will be 0. Next, we have to find out P2. Similar to the previous problem, we have to do the XOR operation, XOR of the bits. For P2, we have to take 2 bit at a time and we have to skip 2 bit to another bits. And if there appears a parity bit in the sequence, so we have to skip that also so for p2 after p2 we have to see in this side so we have d3 so you write here d3 comma next we have p4 so it is a parity bit so we cannot consider it so if we skip this one we have to skip another value okay so d5 we have to skip then we will consider this d6 and d7 so d6 comma d7 comma after d7 we have parity bit so we have to skip this one and if we skip p8 then we have to skip another bit that is d9 will be skipped so here we'll have d10 and d11 d10 and d11 we have to do the XOR operation between this so d3 value is 0 d6 is 0 XOR d7 is 1 XOR d10 is 0 XOR d11 is 1 this p2 is equal to 0 now we have to find out p4 so p4 we have to do the xor of bits so what are the bits so for p4 we have to consider 4 bit at a time and we have to see after p4 what are the bits available so after p4 we have d5 d6 d7 and this is not the d8 it is parity bit 8 Okay, so we have to skip this one. So we have to write D5, D6, D7, D5, D6, D7. Then we have this parity bit. So if we skip this one, we have to skip another three. So here we'll have D12. If we do the XOR operation, so what we'll have 
d5 value is 1 xor d6 value is 0 xor then we have d7 d7 is 1 xor and d12 d12 is 1 okay so here we have three numbers of ones so here we'll have p4 is equal to 1 now we have to find out p8 p8 is equal to xor p8 will be xor of bits so after p8 we have to consider 8 bit at a time okay so after p8 we have d9 d10 d11 and d12 and this is the parity bit so we cannot consider this one so we'll have d9 d10 d11 and d12 we have to do the xor operation d9 comma d10 comma d11 comma d12 so d9 value is 1 d10 value is 0 d11 value is 1 and d12 value is 1 okay so we have three number of ones so what will be the value of p8 it will be 1 okay so we have got the parity bit values now for finding out this final value we will first write this 12 bit keyword with the parity bit substituted with this uh, obtained values and then we will see the parity and if there is odd number of ones this p13 will be 1 and if there are even number of ones in this 12 bits or in this composite word the parity bit p13 will be 0 so here we have p1 p2 d3 p4 d5 d6 d7 p8 d9 d10 d11 d12 and p13 so now we'll fill up these values so p1 we have found out to be 0 p2 is also 0 p1 is 0 p2 is 0 then we have d3 d3 we have already here okay so it is 0 and p4 p4 value is 1 okay and we have p8 value is also 1 p8 is 1 now we have this data bits d5 d6 and d7 d5 d6 d7 are 101 okay 101 next we have d9 d9 d10 d11 and d12 these are 1011 1011 okay up to this d12 we have obtained okay now we have to find out this p13 for finding out p13 we have to do the xor operation of all these 12 bits so if there are even number of ones it will be zero if there are odd number of ones it will be one okay so here we have one two three four five six seven number of ones so this p13 will be one so this is the 13 bit composite word therefore the 13 bit composite word is equal to this is zero 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 one one zero one 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 zero one 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 okay so this is a 13 bit composite word so up to here we have to do in this problem so we have to generate the 13 bit composite word for the hemming code okay that corrects the single errors and detects double error so after this we can do the parity check operations okay that is we'll make the check bits and from that we can detect the errors and we can correct them so in this problem we have to solve up to here thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you